Hello friends, welcome to Infigya. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, where we are going to solve one quadratic equation. Equation is x power 5 plus y power 5 equal to x plus 5 whole power 5. While solving this problem, we will use algebra, algebraic manipulation, identities, rules and we will conclude our result. So let's get started. I will begin with Pascal's triangle again. Then I will show you binomial expansion also. Pascal's triangle method. Because of our degree is, our power is 5. So I will draw 1, 1. 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, cubic power, 3 power, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, power 4, now power 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So this is our concern because our degree is power is 5. Okay. So let me write x plus 5 whole power 5. We will write, first I will write all the coefficients. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay. Then I will write all the terms in descending order. The first term I am talking. So I will write 1x power 5 x power 4, x power 3, x power 2, x power 1 and x power 0 is 1. Okay. At the same time, I will write the second term power in ascending order. So, 5 power 0 is here, 5 power 1 is here, 5 power 2 is here, 3 is here. 5 power 4 is here, 5 power times, it is in multiplication, 5. Now you will put sign in between, sign is plus, 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 plus and plus. See this is x power 5 plus, if you will write then 25 x power 4 plus 5 square is 25 times 10 250 x power 3 1 2 5 0 5 cube is 125 and 0 x power 2 5 power 5 is 3 1 2 5 x plus x power sorry 5 power 5 now LHS is x power 5 plus 5 power 5. Now the both terms you can cancel. So what is left from there we can find out solution. See this equation is most important equation. Now second approach. Second approach is using binomial. How we can apply binomial here? See it is x plus 5 whole power 5 binomial expansion is 5c0 same order first term would be in the descending order so x power 5 5 power 0 plus 5c1 x power 4 second term will second power will in the ascending order 5 power 0 now 5 power 1 5c2 x cube 5 is square 5c3 what I will write x is square 5 cube 5c4 x 5 power 4 and last term I will write 5c5 x power will be 0 and 5 power will be maximum 5. Now you, you must be thinking that 5c0, 5c1, 5c2, what is this? It is NCR actually. This formula is n factorial over r factorial into n minus r factorial. And if you will check the values, 5c0. So r is 0, 
you will put the value 5 factorial, 0 factorial and minus r factorial. So 5 minus 0 factorial, 5 factorial. This value will be 1. 5c1, you will apply right there 5 factorial, 1 factorial, 4 factorial. 1 factorial is 1, it will give us 5. You are getting same value. 1, this value is 5. Check this out. 1, 5. 5c2. 5c3. Both values will come out 10. Okay. You can check 5 factorial over 2 factorial into 3 factorial. That value will be 10. Similarly, 5 factorial, 5c3 I am talking about. 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial, 10. 5c4 that would be same as 5c1 value will be 5. So this is 10, this is 10, this is 5 and last last value is same as 5c0 that value is 1. Okay. So same result you will get as we have calculated through Pascal's triangle. Now third method which is very general method I would say. Someone if suppose he is not able to apply Pascal and binomial, then he can write x plus 5 whole power 5 simply write in the product form x plus 5 x plus 5 whole square x plus 5 whole cube whole square. Now simply write x plus 5 whole square x square plus 10x plus 25 x square plus 10x plus 25 take the product. Then whatever you are getting, then take the product with x plus 5. You will get finally, if I will write, then you will get x power 5 plus 25 x power 4 plus 250 x cube plus 1250 x square plus 3125 x plus 5 power 5. Okay, now we will cancel from left hand side the leading coefficient term means x power 5 and the last constant term x, uh, 5 power 5 will have 1 degree lesser than that. So we will get cubic polynomial. From there we will get cubic polynomial. So let me write here quartic converted into cubic. So we will have equation. Let us solve now. So we will have equation. Once I will take common left hand side is 0. I have cancelled x power 5 and 5 power 5. So what we are getting after taking 25x common. Then in bracket we will have x cube plus 10x square plus 50x plus 125. Okay. Or right hand side you can put 0. So equation is finally x times x cube plus 10x square plus 50x plus 125 equal to 0. Now there are again three methods available. Long division, remainder theorem, synthetic division. So we can apply any, any of the method. I am using synthetic division method. See as we can see our equation is Obvious solution x equal to 0 if someone is putting 5 power 5 would be 5 power 5. So this is one solution. Second obvious solution is power is odd so negative value. So once I will put x equal to minus 5 this will satisfy our equation. So that is why x is already outside because of x equal to 0. So to solve this cubic polynomial, I will use x equal to minus 5 is the base solution. So I will consider x is equal to minus 5 and then I will write the coefficient of cubic equation like this for synthetic division calculation. 1, negative 5, 5, negative 25, 25, negative 125. See it is coming out 0. That means x plus 5 or let me write okay in factor form I can write x times x plus 5 
then I will write x square plus 5x plus 25 equal to 0. Okay. Now we have to solve quadratic equation. x equal to 0 is solution. x equal to negative 5 is solution. Now two roots are coming from quadratic. quadratic not quadratic, quadratic equation. x square plus 5x plus 25. x square plus 5x plus 25 equal to 0. x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Negative 5 plus minus negative 75 over 2a means 2. Minus 5 I will write. I will come out 25 times 3. So 5 root 3 over 2. So x will be if you will simplify this then this value will come out negative 2.5 5 over 2 plus minus i times 4.33. So this is one quartic degree 4 equation. So four solutions are two are complex. So these are two complex solutions and two are real x equal to 0 and x equal to minus 5. Let's verify the real solutions. x equal to 0 then 0 power 5 plus 5 power 5 equal to 0 plus 5 whole power 5. 5 power 5 equal to 5 power 5. 0 verified. Okay. Now second solution x is equal to negative 5. Simply put the value negative 5 whole power 5 plus 5 power 5 equal to negative 5 plus 5 whole power 5. RHS is 0 power 5 that means 0. Now check left hand side minus power is odd. So I will write minus of 5.5 5 power 5. 5 power 5 0. Both sides are equal. So this is also very good. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.